Up next is SMU and head coach Sonny Dykes. Uh, SMU is 3-4 and four overall, 2-1 and one in the American Athletic Conference. The Mustangs played at Tulane last week. SMU won the game 27-23. to 23. Uh, SMU returns home this week to face Cincinnati at Gerald J. Ford Stadium in Dallas. 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central on CBS Sports Network. Coach, thank you for joining us on the call this morning. If you would uh, take a minute to tie up the game uh, at Tulane and what you expect to see as you're back at home uh, to face Cincinnati. Yeah, uh, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I thought it was nice to, to get a road win. I mean, they're, they're hard to come by in our conference. Um, you know, I think that's the, when you start looking around at, at the games that, that happen week to week, it's hard, it's difficult to win on the road. And, you know, we, our guys hung around there pretty well, and we had a couple of bad things happen to us. You know, we snapped the ball over our, our quarterback's head and got a safety, and we threw a pick six. And, you know, we still managed uh, to grind out a win. And so I thought our kids showed a lot of toughness. And, you know, we talked to them about kind of the way the game was going to play out. We thought, you know, it was going to be kind of a, uh, uh, you know, tough tough ball game just in terms of, you know, uh, have, again, having to play on the road and, and – Tulane's a good football team. They play really hard. Um, you know, they had, had had a lot of success at times this year. I mean, really played well against Memphis. And you can kind of, you can see what kind of team they had. They've been had been close in a couple of other ball games against pretty good opponents. So it was going to be a grinded out game, and our guys made some some plays down the stretch. You know, Ben made a really good throw, and James made a really good uh, catch and run. And you know, to me, our defense played lights out. You know, we punted to them a couple of times late in the game, and and, uh, and you know, they, they, they held them, and, um, you know, I thought our defense played a really, really good football game. You know, we gave up 14 points on defense, and, and uh, the rest of it was stuff that the offense gave to them. So, was pleased, pleased to win. Uh, those games are hard to win, and looking forward to, to playing against a very good Cincinnati team. And, you know, the thing that stands out about them is just, um, you know, their ability to win close ball games, and, you know, they're just a team that's, you know, really playing good winning football. You know, they're good on teams. They uh, Obviously, they're playing great defensive football, and they're taking care of the ball and, and doing what they have to do to win games on offense. So it'll be a big challenge for us. Our guys are excited about uh, about the challenge and looking forward to playing. Any questions for Coach Sonny Dykes, please? Star 1 on your telephone keypad will put you in the queue, and the operator will introduce you. We'll first go to Bill Embody with 24-7 Sports. Hey, Coach, good morning. Um, a lot has uh, changed defensively. A year ago, I don't think the coaching staff would have punted twice in the final four minutes, like you said, after the game. What has changed on that defense from just a mindset perspective that you had the confidence to do that that late in the game and put the really the game in their hands? Well, I think a big part of that is you have to consider, you know, how the game was going. I don't know that going in, we would have done that. I don't know if it's one of those games that you look at it on paper and you say, well, you know, we're going to punt from midfield with, you know, a minute and a half to go in the game. But we we had all of our timeouts and and felt like we could get them stopped. You know, there was we'd had some rain. It was kind of a, a wet field, and I felt like if we could, you know, back them up a little bit, you know, we could either potentially get a turnover or maybe a bad punt or maybe a fumbled exchange, you know, between the snapper and the punter. Just something. To, to you know, generate something positive, um, but really, as you said, it come, it came down to just having confidence in our defense. And um, you know, I thought that the guys were really playing hard. I thought they were playing a lot of confidence. Um, you know, I felt like that you know we would get to stop and they would give us a chance to win. And that's you know kind of the way it played out. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that they're starting to do is just is play with some pride. Uh, and play with some confidence. You know, I think those guys are starting to believe that they're pretty good, and um, you know, and, and they're playing with a tough-minded attitude, and, uh, and that's so important defensively. Is to, you know, defense is, is it's all about it's all about your approach and your attitude, and the guys are playing that way, and um, you know, and, and confidence is coming as a result of it. And so, you know, I just felt like that was going to give us the best chance to win, and. And we were fortunate it worked out the way it did. And then just a quick update on on Mikel Onu. Any anything there? And and then what if you did you guys notice maybe think there could be could have been targeting on Banks that play? Yeah, I mean it's hard. You know it's hard when you're a ball carrier. 
you know, it's one of those plays that, that uh, you know, I don't know, targeting so objective, it's such a hard thing to call. Um, you know, obviously, you know, if you see the hit, I mean, you know, Banks ducked his head and hit Mikhail and, you know, it, but it's just, that's just a hard, it's a hard call. I mean, it just is. And so, you know, I didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, honestly, you know, it's one of those ones that um, I could probably go either way, but I certainly see why it probably wasn't called. Um, I think he's feeling, he actually felt good yesterday. Uh, I was encouraged by that. So, you know, we'll kind of see how he feels as, as the week progresses and, and uh, you know, see what his availability is going to be. But I was encouraged by the way that he, uh, by the way that he bounced back yesterday. Thanks coach. Okay. Thank you, Billy. Again, star one, if you'd like to ask a question, we'll next go to Jerry Fraley with Dallas morning news. Great. Hey, thank you, Sonny. Uh, hey, as you well know, you were a plus two in turnover margin at Tulane and you're a plus five for the season. Is that a, a, an extreme point of emphasis on the coaching staff during the week? on both sides of the ball, you know, ball security by the offense and taking it away on defense? Yeah, no, it definitely is. I mean, I think if you just look at the, the games we've won this year, I think we've, you know, we've created three turnovers in every one of those games. And so um, that's just that's just football. You know, when you take care of the ball uh, offensively and you create turnovers on defense, it, it just – it's a game changer. And so certainly I think that was probably one of the biggest factors in us winning that game you know, this past weekend was, was holding on to the football and creating those turnovers. And, um, you know, when, and, and it, you know, the funny thing about, uh, about, about football is if you look at a singular stat that is the biggest determiner in winning and losing, it's blocking a punt. You know, if you block a punt, you've got about a 90%, you have about a 90% chance of winning. But yeah. the other stat that really stands out is if you, if you have, if you win the turnover margin, and you have, and you win the battle of explosive plays, you know, big plays in the game, mm -hmm. then you, you combine those two stats, you have about a 92% chance of winning the game. And, oh. and so uh, if you look at our, our wins, you know, that stat has played out. We've had more explosives and we've had, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've won the turnover battle in every one of those games. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, the funny thing about college football is, you know, you can take all these stats, whether it's yards per play, time mm -hmm. of possession, uh, third down conversions, you know, fourth down conversions, red zone offense, red zone defense, just all these different things that are really important. But it comes down to turnovers and, and big plays. And um, and so, you know, I think that stat's proven to be true uh, on our football team for sure. The plus five, and I know you've got a long way to go, but SMU hasn't been this good for a while in terms of the plus minus score. And I know this is your first year, but do you see guys just getting better on both sides of the ball at this part of the game? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's, I think it's a mentality. I think what, what happens is when, when you start playing pretty good defense, you, you know, you don't play desperate offensively. You know, mm -hmm. you don't feel like you have to score every single possession. And, you know, your quarterback mm -hmm. can be a little bit more careful, you know, can take a little bit better mm -hmm. care of the ball. It doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. need to, to throw the ball into coverage. It doesn't feel like that, mm -hmm. you know, we have to score every single possession. And so as a play caller, mm -hmm. It changes your approach as well. And so, you know, playing good defense and, and not turning the ball over has been a formula for winning football games since the beginning of time. Um, and so it's, you know, it's, it's kind of what we're trying to do right now as, as we start to, as we continue to develop offensively and, and, you know, develop some kind of consistency. So it's certainly uh, very, very important to us. We know that it's given us a chance to be competitive in ball games and hopefully win some games. Uh, by taking care of the ball. And, and I think that was one of the, you know, the big reasons why, you know, we made a change in quarterback early in the year was, you know, just Ben was a little bit loose with the ball. And I think he's improving every single week. And his mentality is changing where, you know, now he feels like, hey, look, we don't have to score every single time we're out there. I don't have to throw the ball in coverage and hope our guy comes down with it. Um, and so I think there's a different mentality there. And, and when you develop that, then, you know, it changes your decision-making. Right. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, Jerry, thanks. Coach, thank you for your time this morning. We look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday.